man. So before starting this video, I was just pulling up the S&P and just taking a look at it. And, uh, this is bad. Uh, it's funny. You know, I was talking about it today. We had a uh, webinar. A lot of the brothers were on and we were talking about it. Um, and, you know, didn't see, you know, this escalated very, very fast today. So the market went down 800 points. Some people are calling it a flash crash, a mini crash, um, whatever. Is it a big move? Uh, undoubtedly, yes. It's bringing back memories of February this year. And even then, you know, it was, you know, on, I think it was one of the largest uh, closing points uh, on the S&P um, in history. It's like top five, I think. So pretty impressive. It kind of escalated. And the funniest part about all of this is people do not know where it's coming from. You know, a lot of people are, you know, trying to pinpoint a reason to this as compared to a lot of other times when we could look at any of these other dips, we could compare it to stuff and be like, that's exactly why the market went down or that's clearly a main reason. In this case, it seems like it's still a toss up. So the answer to this question, is it, I don't know. Well, that's what a lot of people are saying. I have a few ideas, so I'm going to share those with you guys. Go over it. Um, I had a decent day. I, I'll go over my trades. I think I'll make them in another video once I'm less salty about what happened today. I, I closed out like 3,200 bucks realized, but I left a ton of money on the table. Um, I, again, I'm still salty. I don't really want to talk about it just yet, but you know, I'll definitely make a video on that, but excited to see what happens tomorrow. And, you know, if you guys are trading too, be careful. If, you know, paper trading, this is a fun time to paper trade. Uh, you know, this is definitely an outlier event. So don't think this is going to be representative of how the markets always are. But if you are trading to be very, very cautious, if you lost money, take a step back, you know, is the markets down? Do you buy calls coming into earnings? It's, it's tough to say what to do when the markets like this, just be careful of premiums, be careful of, you know, the spreads and everything. Make sure you're not paying too much with the implied volatility coming into earnings. You can make some good plays, but all in all, just don't lose money. Don't overpay for things. I'd say that's probably my biggest worry when it comes down to it for you guys. So be safe with that. Um, but yeah, so getting into it, the first reason, you know, we can talk about what people think it is, or I think I'll start with what I think the reason is uh, of why the market's going down. And I believe it's China. Now, there could be many reasons because, you know, looking back at any of, you know, these types of market moves, you know, specifically like 2015, uh, even 2016, um, it seems like China's been a big role. And I think now with this trade war, I think that stuff is kind of coming to light. We've had a few events like the super micro hacking. Uh, you know, they were saying that supply lines got hacked by Chinese chips. That's a big issue. I think it's kind of getting played down. And now this is, you know, you were kind of seeing this come to light through both, you know, fear in the markets and what this could mean for, you know, chip makers, companies, even like Apple, who, who knows? That's one reason. But I think now the tariffs in this trade war escalating, you know, the Pompeo talks and a lot of things just aren't really, you know, it's, it's been a hard line approach with China. So it hasn't been too okay for them or, well, there's just been a lot of tension and that's, I think that's kind of coming to play. I think trade war fears, but now mainly declines in China's economy and stock market right now. They're, you know, if you guys watch my Instagram stories, I posted it on Sunday night. I saw China was down 4%. And, you know, I said, you know, I put this like, oh man, this makes me wet. Um, you know, uh, there, there's some good plays to be had. The market didn't really, you know, we saw the market kind of continue the down streak. It was already gone on from last week, but then it started to really pick up this pace. And we saw that today, but China has been declining and, you know, China's economy going down. That is a cause of concern. I think China's economy slowing down. You know, one thing mainly that I want to show you guys uh, is their, they recently just cut their uh, reserve ratio. And this is, you know, the rate that banks need to hold. And, you know, this has a very distinct pattern. They don't really do it when you really look at the chart. You know, they've kept it pretty consistent since around like, I'd say like 2011. Um, or yeah, about 2012, it's been pretty consistent, but now you're seeing them start to drop it heavily. And, you know, these, this timeline that it happens on, you know, you got January, February, March, you got March coming into April, 
you see them cut the reserve ratio and then it happens again may may juneish area and you know we take a look at the spy you see market declines and we've seen big market declines this year happen around similar times you guys could look into it you could go on trading economics uh that's what i just pulled up you guys could go on there um or you could you know and just take a look at when china has cut that but this is you know just saying there's a liquidity concern in china and that's why they're doing it you know they're trying to spark liquidity and now the next part which is tied into the trade war the economy the markets there is the currency and now we're seeing the uh chinese yuan um it's it's reaching a high level uh some people are even saying uh i have to check i you know but there's the offshore rate and that's kind of what the market is kind of seeing as the one being traded as beyond just what it's quoted as but people are saying you know if it hits seven and last time we saw that was around january uh 2017 um but even 2006 end of 2016 we saw market declines similar thing you know the spike on the yuan is not good and it's had a tremendous one really since june so if it starts to top new levels i think that's the biggest concern for the market now other people and then you know you even take a look at chinese stocks uh you know even then you know why why is one of those uh winds coming up they have chinese exposure i don't want to talk about wind too i had a crazy play i closed out of but uh you know chinese stocks even alibaba jd baidu you know they've had some interesting moves and you know they've been down regard with the market uh they've outpaced the s p very very heavily so we've kind of seen that weakness in China. And if that kind of gets worse, I could expect that to have an effect on the market or until maybe the market acknowledges it. But on the reverse end too, um, it's not like it's, uh, you know, we, we have earnings coming now too. Uh, I, I guess I won't say on the reverse end because there's many things. I guess the reverse end is why people think the market's going down now. And, you know, a lot of reports have said so far, that it's the Federal Reserve, that it's now people reacting to rates. Uh, rates did go up Monday. They went up uh, today too, then kind of closed down briefly, went down. And it's had a negative effect on the markets. Uh, it definitely has for what this means for inflation concerns, what the Fed's going to do. And that's what people have been tying it into. And it's been having a negative effect. But, you know, I think it's a mix of that and China. And really, you know, the whole issue with China talking from an emerging market standpoint the whole issue is now raising rates emerging market country trade war weakening currency and it's not really a good climate and then we have high energy costs oils going up it it, it just doesn't really equate well for these em countries um and em economies but at the end of the day there's still you know there's a there's a lot going on the, when you add it all together, that makes sense. But I don't think it's just the Fed is, is what I'm getting at. I think it's a mix of everything of the rates and China. But at the end of the day, too, there is also earnings coming up. And with earnings coming up, a, a reason why the market's down now is that it's some stocks. I'm not sure on all of them. We'll have to double check. But they're starting their blackout period where right before earnings, they're not allowed to, you know, engage in their buyback program or buy any of their stocks. So that does rec reduce some demand or liquidity coming into earnings for a lot of stocks. So that's one thing we have to take note for. And that's pretty much it on the reverse end. I think earnings on it, it, you know, could still be positive coming up where, you know, earnings are still a month out. There's still some time. So we'll see how the market responds to this. As far as playing this, like I said, be careful with the options. Don't be dumb. Don't pay too much. Um, you know, it may seem like it's going down a lot, but these huge big down days, they last a lot shorter than they seem. You know, you'll see it come down and it, it, it could come back up really quickly. So don't beat yourself up too much over it. But I'll leave it at that. And yeah, I be, be careful out there. Let me know what you guys think about the market. If you have any questions, feel free to put them below. I'll try to make a video one on them and answer them. And yeah, love y'all. Peace.